What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and we're going on this service call. Customer has got no cooling. He's got an ancient York R22 system, two system in his townhouse. A couple years ago, we put in a Bosch. Let's see what's going on this year. Smash that thumbs up button in advance. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Let's get going. years ago. Right. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Jacobs? I know. Come on in. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Can I get you anything? Or, yeah. Uh, how about a Grey Goose Rocks line? A what? Grey Goose Rocks line? No, I don't have any. I, I'm more for alcohol. Oh. Uh, in the same we were exactly a year ago. We remember, we could have got extra free on, and that would have lasted for who knows. Uh, so if anything, whatever we do here, is it possible to get something to hold us over when we get some serious heat? I mean, I could turn on the zone on it. Tell me what's tell me what's happening. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. start with the basics. Um, what's happening? It's like the, the same thing we had. Not it's the TV like, show. What? Not the TV show. No, it's getting um, air is coming out, but it's not really freezing like the new new unit has on the upstairs. So to refresh my memory, right. we replaced the sec the system for the second Same floor. floor. Right. Totally. And that was the furnace and the, the air conditioning, right? Or just yeah. the air conditioning? I think it was everything. Okay. So now the first floor is... You'll see it. On. You'll know what you yeah. did. That's for sure. Let okay. me take a peek outside real fast. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. This side here. Got flies lately all over really? the place. Really? Yeah. We're seasonal here. Gotcha. All right. So, Anderson, we have a new Bosch heat pump system here and a black cat that just ran away. And we have this, looks like a York. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Jacobs, let me ask you a question. So, when you uh, when you turn on the air conditioning for the first floor, does this outdoor unit come on? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. I could turn it on right now so you can see what's okay. happening. Okay. Let's turn it on right now and see what happens. And, you know, yeah. All right. Let's turn that on. And sometimes it's amazing. The downstairs will say 74. Upstairs it'll say 77. And upstairs must be about 70. And every unit gets cold. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, in case you guys want any stickers, email me, Mike, at MikeyPipes.com. Well, at least electrically she comes on. I think... I think I, I heard it slightly in the background, but... It's running? inside and you put your hand over that duct you can feel air and sometimes it's not too warm but most of the time it's, yeah. it's not giving us the cooling we need understood anderson he's about to get sodomized you know what that means <laughs> r22 baby all right so i have uh testo 557 digital refrigeration four port manifold i have one specifically for r22 and for 410a obviously accessibility with this unit is severely compromised when we have <laughs> the access panel literally facing the uh the decking here so we we'll try to get to those service ports there's one right there another one somewhere in there hook up our gauges to it and see what we got No, I don't even bother with the, with the high side. Whatever. Is there a valve? Is there a valve? Oh, you can close. So. Open up that. Let's see what kind of pressures we got. Right. 
Yeah. Lenny, you want to turn it off? Yeah. All right, we're going to have the homeowner turn off the thermostat. I don't want even want to go in there. Look how tight it is to get in there. But this is what we're working with here. See, here's the next door neighbor. This is that. They're all the same. So we just turned the thermostat off. We're going to see what kind of pressures it drops down to. Still, it's... At least it wasn't negative. If it was negative, that's, that's pretty <laughs> bad. Um, take a look again at our rating plate. Wow, look at that. That is old. How many pounds we have in here? Five pounds, six Five ounces. Pounds. So I do know that the, uh, the indoor equipment is probably about 25 feet away. So at most, maybe five and a half, maybe six pounds total to recharge this. It's just slightly climbing. But uh, it's low. Yeah, it looks like we... Uh... But look, at, you do have a few. Did you squeeze in there? Back yeah. in there? Because you, you got to see what's in the back of this. Yeah, I know. It's all empty. I know. Okay, good. Now, that's not the back. That wall is further back. If you stick your head in there. Yeah, I know. If you go back here and yeah, you, you can walk behind here. There and there's the, there's the back view of the unit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we didn't give the guy any R22, none whatsoever. What we did give him is a good, better, best proposal. Good being a Ream 13 Sierra, 80 percent furnace, 13 Sierra condensing unit, two and a half ton system. Better. Well, there was no better because there is none. And best is Bosch. The Price point for the Bosch isn't in the budget like it was a couple years ago for this client. So we went with the Ream. We're putting it in two weeks from today. Got a deposit. Equipment's ordered. It'll be here in a couple days. If you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and need an HVAC contractor, that's no... It doesn't play any games. It keeps it real. Tells it like it is and leaves no stone unturned. Give me a call at 516-348-6300 or you can book your appointment online and save time. Book online at pipedoc.net. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well. God bless. Stay safe. God bless America.